Hello and welcome to this session. This is part two of the session on how we can set up a test project agent on a Docker container and run our tests on a agent running on a Docker container. Just in case you have not watched part one, please watch part one and then continue with this part. Now the most practical way for us to create containers, agents and then run our test will be to use Docker Compose. Docker Compose is a tool that can be used to create multi-container services based on the instructions from a Docker Compose file which is a YAML file or a file with a .yml extension. So we have to create a YAML file and then we have to give the instructions in the file. Now again if I go to the documentation on this docker hub page you can see here we have a example for a docker compose file and you can just copy this and then update your api key volumes and your job id and then run this using the docker compose up command so with a single command docker compose up we can create all the services and with a single command docker compose down we can bring down all the services and again just in case you want more details i have a video on this so you can check the docker compose video just in case you want to get more information so i'm going to copy this i'm just going to copy this from here and then i'm going to go to visual studio code you can use any text editor the only thing you have to make sure is all the syntax and the formatting should be proper so you can see all these spaces this should be proper or uh, and you can use any text editor and save this file i have named this docker hyphen compose dot yml and then i have to update the api key so i will get my api key from my test project account i will go to integrations and api and copy the api key provide the api key here then i need a job id and let me just copy it from the earlier commands so this is my job id and then i also need the volume or the local folder location so for this i am just going to use the same folder and i am going to re remove everything from here and this is my folder location and then if you need to do any changes in the job parameters you can do accordingly as of now you can see it is using browsers chrome firefox and doing all the setup for chrome and firefox so that's all what i need here and that's it i will save this file and now i have to use the command docker compose minus f and the location of the file and then up minus t now minus t is a option or a flag to start the containers in detached mode but i do not want that so i will not use the minus t option so that i can see all the logs coming up on the terminal so here this file is located on my system on a folder on my desktop which is here docker compose file and this is my docker compose.yml file so i will go to my terminal let me clear all this and exit from here so I am on my terminal I will say docker hyphen compose minus f and I have to go to the location of the file which is on my desktop so I will go to my desktop and go to this location and the file name is docker compose dot yml and I will say up and I'm not going to use the minus T option. So let us see what happens now. It should start all the services. So you can see it is creating the Chrome, Firefox and everything. And then it will run our test cases or the job as well. If I go to my agents page here, let me see. This should show me the agents coming up. And you can see it is setting up the agent as well. Now, if I go and check again, the agents you can now see it is now starting this temporary agent and after starting all the services it will then execute our job and we will also get reports after execution so you can see it is executing now if i again check 
it is in the executing status and if I go to monitor you can see here it will show us the execution so you can see it is running one of two and currently one job is running so that means our job execution is now in progress and again you can see all this it is running all our steps as we have in our test cases in that job so here if I check the progress it is 50% done and now it is executing two of two and this is the progress and here we can see all the logs coming up and once this all is done we can see our reports and I will also show you how you can stop and remove all the containers so now you can see it the agent is stopped here in the logs and if I see here everything is done and now if I go to the agents page you can see the agent is stopped and we do not have that agent any longer here because it was temporary and if I go to the reports and check you can see here I will go to the project that I have executed my job from and here I will see the latest results and this one is the latest one and here you can see we have got all the results here and here we have all the steps so of course there was a failure and if I see the failed step you can see here is the screenshot and then here it says that it could not find the ID welcome on this home page so that is why there was a failure which is fine if I go and check the PDF report so it will download the PDF report and if I now open the PDF report here here we can see the agent so this was our agent that it ran on and then all the results are here now if I go back to my terminal and in a new tab if I say docker ps you can see all these containers now the test project agent or the container having test project agent is removed because it was temporary but we still have the containers for chrome and firefox browsers if I say docker ps minus a you can see all these containers are here so what I will do is I will say docker ps minus a minus q to get all the container IDs so you can see all these container IDs and then I will say docker stop and I will say dollar and in brackets I will say docker ps minus a minus q to get all the IDs and it will stop all these containers and this is done and then I will say the same command but I will say rm to remove all these containers and this is done and then I can say docker system prune so this will remove all the stops containers all networks not used all dangling images and cache I will say why and then you can see now it is all stopped and docker is not using any memory now and this is how we can set up and run our test project tests on our agent on docker container I hope this was very useful for you if you have any questions or any doubts you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can you can also check the user comments on this video and the description that will help you and I will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching